Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily general message for Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you are interested in uh, your own private reading, all that information as well as the Amazon links to my books are down below in the description box below. Let's get into it here. So what do we need to know here? Oh, there's a lot of energy. I, I feel like somebody's kind of telling themselves that they don't love their person anymore. Their love interest. You don't know if you're going to be able to accept their apology. You feel that this is very specific for somebody. You feel like they they have never changed. They never will. You don't feel that they will be returning either. Because it was such a long time. Um, but yeah, kind of putting the doubt in the system. Now, I do feel that this person wants to return. Yeah, they do want to clear things up with you here. But I feel like, I can't say those words. But you feel that they are a bull. Um, beep. <laughs> There, I abbreviated that or whatever. Replaced, substituted. I do feel that this person is kind of reflecting of their past actions, why they walked away here. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. A lot of, um, 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 how do I say this without sounding rude? You know when my mother-in-law says something stupid and I, and I say, like one time she said to story time. One time she said to me, literally, um, like a week after my daughter Allison was born, she goes, Isn't it a shame? And she, you know, they use certain voices when they're being sarcastic or trying to purposely be mean uh with their words. So it and she goes, Isn't it ironic and kind of sad that your own daughter doesn't look like you? <laughs> looks like me <laughs> just right here and right here she gets freckles and and she got my face <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing but it's kind of that rare you know that you want to do you know uh you know like am I do I can I be sarcastic back can can I tell her off you know I grew up in a generation where you don't disrespect your elders but <laughs> Plus, I was going through that stage called postpartum, you know. <laughs> so that didn't help. Uh, but anyway, sorry for all the men who are watching this. <laughs> a little TMI. But I feel like you really need to kind of think things over. A lot of healing, okay? There's a lot of uh, bitterness, okay? I was very bitter when she said, I got over it. You know, of course, it sticks with me for years after. She's only 20, almost 24 year. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> But it's still fresh in my head. Uh, but yeah, I'll never forget that. And it's little simple things, you know, that can irk you, you know. But it's just those things, those that energy of, I don't know if I can trust, <coughs> excuse me, this person anymore. I don't know if they've ever changed. Let me tell you, my mother-in-law still the same person. Uh, but yeah, and, uh, <laughs> but definitely I feel that it's been a long time. But there's this indecision by you of whether or not you can trust them big time. Uh, but yeah, because uh, you're looking at the devil or the page of pentacles, that's an apology and it's looking at the devil. So is he speaking out or are they speaking out of their beep, you know, or what, you know? Uh, and I feel for some of you, you're not going to believe them regardless. But with the, with the Ten of Swords here, let's do the above and below here because I can keep going on and on. It's going to get my Libra up here. All right, so the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So I feel like they have missed you here, okay? They do want to open up to you, but it's been a long time and a lot of missing. However, you got the Queen of Cups, which is turning away from the Three of Swords. So you're using your intuition, yes. You still love them, okay? But you're, it's tough to make a decision because you feel stuck. 
you don't know which direction. It's like being pulled in two different directions, you know, uh, because you know, you know intuitively that they will be back. She is highly intuitive, but you're looking at the page of pentacles here, knowing that they are going to be coming back after they walked away and then try to kind of dig them their way out of it again, okay? Uh, it could be round two, even with the ghosting and coming back with me saying again. I didn't mean to say again, but for somebody, apparently so. With the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. With the Devil, the Four of Pentacles, and the Chariot, there's this distrust of, I don't know if I believe you. I mean, even look at the Chariot's face, you know. It's kind of like, are you for real? Are you going to walk away again? Because that Chariot is looking over at that Eight of Cups. So it's kind of like, are you leaving again? You know? So there's this misbelief, is that a word, uh, of I don't know if I can believe you or not, but I feel that like if you work on it here, uh, the last row obviously is Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So if you settle your mind, if you hear the mount kind of thing with that Ace of Swords, it can work out, but there's a lot of issues, a lot of needing to forgive, okay, uh, them and, and trust them. And trust is a huge huge factor for me. I don't know about you, but trust is a huge factor. You burned me once, you burned me twice, forget it, you know. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, so I totally get that, you know, definitely. So it's going to be a little bit of a battle to have that faith back into this relationship again. So to each its own, we all have free will, free choice. This is not a definite answer in regards to uh, what for you to choose. That's totally up to you because of that free will. So that is what I have, but that's the energy that I'm picking up in this spread for today, Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.